Okay, so I sense that you're going to want to see another example. I think you need to see a couple of these to, to really get the hang of it. So let's consider a different example. So here we've got question sketch the graph of y equals minus x uh, minus 2, x minus 10. And again, um, the question, if this was an actual uh, SQA uh, nat 5 question, it would be saying things like you must include the coordinates of the points of intersection with the x and y axis. Uh, axes and also include the turning point. So we're just going to assume that's all the information that we've been asked to provide. So let's go through a, a checklist of what we want. The first thing we need to know is what, what is the shape of this graph? Is it a U-shaped or an N-shape? Okay, so let's think, what do we have? We've got a negative X and we've got an X. So say we expanded this, if we were to expand these brackets, and I'm tempted just to briefly do this, minus x times x would be minus x squared. Now that is the only x squared term that we will get when we expand these brackets. We could go further, minus x times 10 would be positive 10x, take 2x, plus 20, and again we could clean up from there, simplify that. But at this stage it's very very clear that the coefficient of x squared, the number in front of x squared, is a negative and so the shape is going to be the end shape. Okay, that's the first thing. The next thing we're going to look at are the roots. Okay, so the roots. And again, if you recall, the way we do this is we set y is zero. We're going to say, what is the value of x when y is zero? Because again, the point where we cross the x-axis is the point where y is equal to zero. Okay, so in order for this to work, in order for this to make sense, this implies that either negative x take two is zero, or x take 10 equals zero. So what number take away 10 is zero? 10. 10 take away 10 is 0. Okay, uh, maybe this one's slightly harder. Negative x take 2. Um, let's just have a little think. If we rearrange this by adding 2 to both sides, we're going to get negative x is equal to 2, which would suggest that x is equal to negative 2. Okay. Okay, so we find the shape and we find the roots. What do we want to do next? We want to find the y-intercept. Okay, so again, this is where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, so we've got the y-intercept here, and that is the point in which x equals 0. So this is the point where x equals 0. Let's work it out. y equals negative x minus 2, x minus 10. So if we set x to be 0, we're going to get minus 2, minus 0, take 2 is just minus 2, times minus 10. So that's going to be positive 20. So it crosses the y-axis at 20. Um, so just like last time, I'm going to now sketch the graph at this point, because um, I think now is a suitable time to do that. So we're going to cross the y-axis at 20, so somewhere up here, we are going to cross the x-axis at minus 2 and at 10. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Okay, and we'll just label this point. So again, this is going to be the point 10, 0. This is going to be the point negative 2. 0, and this is going to be the point 0, um, and then where's our y-intercept 20? And so that all that remains is to find the turning point. Okay, so finding the turning point, we can use a little bit of symmetry. The x value is going to be halfway, so I'll write this x value of the turning point, is going to be halfway between minus 2 and so minus 2 and 10. So what number is halfway between minus 2 and 10? We can 
uh, have a go at adding that, uh, adding that up and dividing it by 2. Minus 2 plus 10 divided by 2 is 4. OK, so this value here is 4. And now what we can do is substitute that value into our equation. So we know that y equals minus x minus 2, x minus 10. That's just from the question. We're going to use the value of 4. Minus 4 minus 2, 4 minus 10. Again, all I've done here is replace x with the 4. And we can work this out. So minus 2 take, uh, sorry, minus 4 take 2 is going to be negative 6. OK. Now we know it's going to be a positive answer, so we really want to see a positive come out here. 4 take away 10. OK, well, that looks to me like that's going to be uh, minus 6. And minus 6 times minus 6 is positive 36. OK, so the answer here would be 4, 36. And there we go. We've got a completely sketched graph, including the labelled points.